signs welcome back to my channel presence of a goddess thank you guys for joining me today today is just going to be a love reading for the water signs so if you're resonating awesome i appreciate if you subscribe like and share those who you think it'll resonate too i do appreciate you and if you want to book a personal reading with me the information is down below and if you want to donate to the channel it is highly appreciated i'm saying love peace and blessings whenever you receive this message Ooh, you're creating a beautiful life for yourself okay that's what I see here. Let me see. What's the main energy for water signs love reading? Thank you, spirit. Oh, look at them. Okay, silky silky now. All right, so this is refreshing. I feel like some, someone's refreshing. Someone's making you smile. Are you making somebody's day here? Ten of Cups, King of Cups, and the World card. It's like um, somebody thinks the world of you. You make someone happy here. Or maybe somebody revives their world around you. I mean, that could sound like a bad thing. But I really feel like somebody feels like you're their empress here. Somebody wants to wife you. Okay, I'm also getting the energy. Like, beware of somebody trying to trap you if you did not agree to something. So, like, you know, you want to check that out or have a conversation or this could be this karmic woman right here who is trying to trap this masculine who's in love with you that's what i'm seeing here as well yeah maybe this masculine have two decisions this king of cups uh cancer scorpio pisces or this could be you if you're a masculine maybe somebody's trying to tempt you because with this queen of wands i'm getting tempted this could be a karmic baby mother here who's trying to put somebody like on child support by trapping them with a baby or threatening them to put them like i'm gonna raise up your child support if you don't be with me like somebody's blackmailing your person if you're a divine feminine yeah because somebody's trying to have like control over this this man who could be a father maybe this person is a good father figure to you or you could be having a child by this the love of your life here and this karmic woman is mad about this okay you're very well protected though so my baby mother wants to come back into your person's life here by using the children, by using the family. Even the karmic woman is going around the fact like your person's family, <laughs> like trying to, yeah, that's the truth here. Maybe at a social event, you might see this person, this karmic woman here. Even if they don't have kids together, I still see a karmic woman who's obsessed with this person of yours here. But this person only has eyes for you. And somebody just cannot get into it. Okay? The three of wands. Somebody been watching you in your relationship here. I also feel like if this didn't happen yet, it's about to happen. Where you about to get into a relationship with someone who is about to, like, treat you right. Emotional fulfillment here. And someone's going to be watching this. Because they're going to watch your person change because of you. Because you want to help this person change emotionally. Because this person who is emotionally cared for you, that emotionally care about you, they may not show that to everybody. They could come out as the strength card. They could be a Leo. Or they, you know, they portray like they tough, Mr. Tough Guy. But really, they need love. And you just, you breaking down their walls by showing them genuine love here. Okay? And somebody secretly watching y'all or spying on y'all or something. I mean, it's like this karmic woman was is jealous of you over this masculine here. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, she fine too, but I want you. That's what I'm saying. So like, okay, I'm right on point. The person that you, your person wants you. And the karmic woman could be like, well, I look better, blah, blah, blah. And I mean, maybe she do, you know, who cares though? You know what I'm saying? It's all about having a good heart at the end of the day. But, um, you know, she compared herself to you. And it's like, at the end of the day, he going to choose you at the end of the day. Mean green money machine. Somebody jealous here that you making money, you bossing up. Somebody jealous that you have um, a masculine here who is helping you, okay? Because I'm seeing somebody pull out their wallet to give you money like it ain't nothing. And somebody's like, <laughs> commentary or something like, mm. you know, she just want his money or something. Yeah, but you got your own <laughs> So motherfucking funny. Somebody is saying you're a gold digger or something, but you got your own, okay? You you brought stuff to the table, okay? You are the table, but you know what I'm saying? Humbly speaking. Yeah, somebody look like a rat. Yeah, loving the crew. Because this karma was really a hoe. Maybe this is why this masculine left her. Was because of her uh, Jezebel ways. And he thought every woman was like this. And he has not met a woman like you before okay you a unicorn to all these mugs to these mugs 
these rat faces. Yeah, feelings are mutual. Fire and desire. Somebody could be a Scorpio or this person really, they, child, I told you, somebody's trying to power struggle, trying to pull your person back into them. Yeah, and somebody hate that. This woman hate that. This man love you. That's how I'm putting it. This, this karmic is toxic here. This karmic woman is trying to keep y'all from being together by throwing, like, blackmailing, throwing the kids in it, or trying to say, I can make you happy. It's a whole bunch of power struggle. But the man is like, I don't want you. I got what I want. So, yeah. The treatment, you getting the princess treatment. This woman is made because, you know, yeah. You got the house, the car, the kids. Look, you you gaining everything with this masculine, and this woman ain't getting nothing. She home spying on y'all on social media. Yeah, cause he will never leave you. That's what I'm saying. I'm hearing uh, Tutsi leave her, so it's like she'll never. Um, I'll never leave her. So like that's basically what, yeah. Somebody could be a Virgo. That's basically what somebody say or Scorpio or Gemini. Somebody's like I would never leave water sign she's a good woman and this karmic woman is mad this karmic woman could be a sagittarius aries or a leo yeah death luck something's over or your luck is changing or your person's luck is changing they feel like you are their lucky charm here somebody is mad though this could even be your ex mad that they missed the blessing with you it's like if i was with water signs i would have still i would have had this and i would have yeah but you you want to be selfish you want your cake and eat it too. Baby, you can't do both, all right? Why is this stuck together? Yeah, okay, so this is stuck together. This wealthy man with this courthouse, somebody making a decision that it's you. They want to invest in you. They want to give their all to you. And when I think about wealthy men, I only, I don't only think about like rich. I also think about someone who has their shit together, who wants to, you know, be with you somebody making a decision this could also be a proposal for some of you guys are getting proposed to yeah you want to receive a message here or somebody receiving a message that's going to cause despair in their life because they're like dang she got away or dang he got away yeah somebody could be at work crying or you gonna meet this or you're gonna meet this person at work yeah, somebody's thinking about you. You have a lot of people thinking about you, water signs. A lot of people feel like they missed their opportunity with you. But it's like the one who got away. That's what I'm hearing. So now you're far away. You're about to get married. Or you're going to be getting a union with someone who's on the same page as you. And the feelings are mutual. You guys love each other. And I mean, what's the end all? Oh, what's the end all and be all of this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, this came out in the beginning. Aries energy, magician, you created this life for yourself. You ghosted everybody from your past to get what you manifest. You said, fuck all them niggas from the past. Y'all not giving me what I want, what I need. I'm going to create my own life. It was like trying to build a life with people who didn't have the same vision as you or who was insecure of their manifestation. So it was like they didn't know how to respond to your vision. But now somebody, you going to celebrate Okay, you celebrating a wedding, a marriage, a proposal. New doors are opening up for you. Somebody's confused, but the hair font, you're getting a, commit, a committed relationship. Somebody want to know how you got this here because you manifested. Somebody's shocked here that you left them alone. But it is what it is, though. I'm going to pull out some charms here. You continue to manifest. If this did not happen yet, it's going to happen where you're going to be with someone who has the same feelings as you and has the same vision as you. And there is going to be a hating woman for some of y'all. And you ain't got to deal with that. Just know, protect your energy. Protect your man, your man, your man. Okay? Pray over you and your man. I, E, A, first, middle, or last. Somebody saying they eat a. <laughs> Ebony could be significant. Um, Something about somebody's one edge here. Okay? Somebody egg face. Somebody feels dumb. I'm also going to BB. Somebody could be BB or something like that. Um, somebody ugly or somebody called somebody ugly like, but I'm getting with that energy is somebody's ugly on the inside and this is a karmic woman so um, I hope this resonates with you you know what to do I love you guys